Hello everyone and welcome, I'm Alex, the architect for back app and in today's video we're going to create a new item inside a class using React Native and Parse. So here I have our to-do app and every time I click this button add, it will get the value that I input in this text field and create a new to-do item for me. So to do that I created this create to-do method which receives no uh, parameters but I will have to read the value that I type in here. We do that by typing let const new to do title value equals new to do title, which is up here reading from the user state. So with that done, I have to instantiate the class that I'm going to be saving the records on. We do that by typing let to do equals new parse object and passing the class name as a string to do. With the object set, I have to set the properties that I get from the UI. So we do that by typing to do.set and then passing the property name title as a string and then comma and the value that I retrieved from the text field. Then I'll be setting another um, property called done, which will be a Boolean and it will always be false. So every time I create a new item, the, the done property will be set as false by default. With that also done, I can do a try catch block. So I try to execute some code. If it fails, it will enter the catch block. So in here, I will do await to do, which is my object dot save. If it succeeds, it will then alert success to do created. Read all the to dos that I have in the class for displaying on the bottom part of my screen and then returning true. If something goes wrong, I'll enter the catch block where I'm going to do an alert error and then the error message, which quickly describes what exactly failed in my code and return false. If I save this and run, every time I type something here, so my test to do item. When I click add, what we, it will do is set the title as this value up here, set done as false by default and try to save. If it works, it will alert success. So I hope you enjoyed this video. This is how you save a object in parse using React Native and hope to see you on the next ones of this series. See you soon. Bye bye.